Okay, okay, I'm warming up my voice. Hello, hello, boys. Hello there, my name is Johan Karlsson and I'm an indie game dev from Sweden. And this is yet another devlog for my game Don't Get Possessed, an indie platformer game about ghost hunter guy called Eric who stops possessions by destroying cursed objects. As you can hear, in if you have played Phasmophobia, this game is heavily influenced by playing too much Phasmophobia late nights and probably screaming too loud and scaring the neighbors in the process. Uh, but in this devlog, I just want to show you the progress and uh, how far I've come. Um, and the progress has actually been quite good. I have become serious enough to start using Trello to track my progress and I am happy to say that I have been able to uh, put lots of stuff on the done uh, list here. And uh, for you non-Swedes, uh, this is att göra, and that means to do. And here is gör, which means doing, and this is gjort, and that means done. And that's enough Swedish lesson for today. I've been searching on Google and uh, I actually found the answer to an annoying question. And that was that the music didn't loop as it should in GDevelop. Uh, but I found out that the solution was actually quite simple. Uh, I was using an old and deprecated uh, feature uh, because in GDevelop you can choose uh, to play sounds and you can play music. Uh, when you have the code and you want to play an audio um, an audio moment, we'll show it up here instead. Uh, you can use either sound and you can play sound in different ways and you can also play music. And this music feature is an old feature uh, which is obviously buggy and the solution was to use just sound instead of uh, playing sound effects with sound and playing music with music. Always using sound. So this is a tip for you guys if you're having, har having trouble with uh, getting the music to loop right. Uh, don't use uh, play music, use play sound. And also uh, be sure to cut your music because uh, I've I create my music in GarageBand for Mac and even though uh, it looks in GarageBand and sounds in GarageBand like the loop is a clean cut and there's no silence in the end. Uh, if you use an app like Audacity um, you can see that there's actually uh, a bit left here in the end. I've cut it away in this audio but um, in Audacity uh, you can zoom in. Uh, a lot on the audio and you can see that there is actually some silence in the end of the audio which you have to cut away to get the music to loop properly. So that's a tip for all of you new uh, G develop makers who are having trouble with the looping music. Uh, but okay, uh, let's check out some new stuff in this game. Um, I've been filling uh, the floors of the levels with tiles and uh, I think I will put in some video footage here that will show how it looked before. Uh, and now it uh, looks like this. And at first I wasn't sure that it looked better. Um, but uh, after trying it out, it actually makes the player feel more grounded and the game feels more solid and complete. Uh, I was also thinking about if I should put something, some background here for the UI, um, but as for now I think it looks good as it does right now. Uh, but this is one of the new things that's been added and also, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, there is now not only uh, an intro uh, comic uh, that looks like this, and I don't think you can hear it right now, but it also has a soundtrack. Uh, we also have now a Game Over comic, and uh, it looks uh, like it is. So that actually feels very good because uh, these uh, small additions in graphics uh, with these comics uh, uh, creates a lot of, of a more 
solid context for the game and it makes the game feel more complete and it also uh, gives uh, the game a bit of a story element which actually takes this game up a notch. Uh, this is still very much an indie game and I am very aware of that this is my first uh, semi-serious game but it I think it really adds something to the game. Okay uh, but let's wrap up this uh, devlog uh, by uh, actually playing some through the game and so you can see the progress right now. Uh, if you in the future are interested of playing this game, uh, this is officially a spoiler alert because this shows uh, about 80% of the game. So for all of you guys who uh, want to play this game and don't want to be spoiled, uh, stop watch now. And uh, for the rest of you, uh, this is uh, the current state of the game. We have a start screen uh, that uh, shows the title Don't Get Possessed in a Doom inspired uh, pixel uh, uh, font face. And we press space and we get the intro comic. And uh, I will do my best to use my best narrator voice. College dropout Eric has got a paid internship at Exorcism and Possessions Inc. You'll know the place when you see it. Yeah, right. Like you'd actually see on the outside that the place is haunted. Ha! <laughs> A few moments later. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Sorry for the cringe there. Uh, we'll press uh, space to continue and here's the first level and you also get uh, uh, tutorial messages displayed that tells you that you should uh, use the arrow keys and E and spacebar and also it tells you that you might find a cross that can protect you and you can pick it up uh, and uh, now we also get another tutorial text that uh, says that this object is probably dangerous and now we just found a bug uh, sometimes you obviously drop this guy if you jump too fast it's always nice to find new bugs to squash and this is the basic gameplay. You go in and you see the timer up top, um, which uh, says that we will get possessed unless we do this. And then the cursed object is secured in the blessed barrel and we can go back to headquarters. And here is the base in the game. There's still a lot of uh, graphics to be made for this, uh, portion, uh, for this part of the game. Uh, but uh, here you can restore your sanity if you have lost sanity by playing video games. And here you can see the cursed uh, possessions that you have found. There will currently be only four uh, possessions in this game. And if I pick this game up and make a sequel in the future, I will add more cursed objects. So there, that's why there's more boxes than cursed objects, because I was uh, getting uh, caught up by the monster called Scope Creep by uh, accidentally making the game too big and uh, and uh, that would probably made me not finish the game so I decided since this is my first game it will only have four levels and four cursed objects and here's the shrink phone if you have a hundred dollars you can call this phone and as uh, Eric says uh, calling the shrink costs hundred bucks but it raises my sanity every time and it uh, upgrades your sanity up in the corner in the left corner by one point and this is the place where there will be a comic also displaying what happens so at least the first time. And uh, very phasmophobia inspired here is the whiteboard that tells us things to do, solve case, <laughs> call shrink uh, and play with your game. And just like in uh, uh, lots of these games you find your uh, missions by using this computer. And uh, this takes us to the game's second level which is a haunted subway and here is a ghost that will be activated uh, in the end of the level. And as you can see, the graphics are only halfway down here. There's lots of things added up here and down here also. And here is a train with some ghosts in and you can get across. And the, the cursed beasts, the flying things over there, they don't get stopped by the cross, but the cross gets burned. And here's the second cursed object. And uh, we found another bug because the bad spirit there disappeared. So also something to be added <laughs> to my Trello board. Okay, 
and uh, we will go here. Now we have uh, more than hundred dollars. We can call the shrink, and we will ha now have four sanity. And we will go to the playground. This is the third level. Uh, also, some more graphics are needed in the background to give it more uh, of a complete sense. And also in the in the bottom, as you can see, there are no sprites there. And there's a bad spirit. Let's see if this guy also disappears uh, when we are finishing up the level. Um, but let's uh, get through this and avoid these guys and avoid these guys and these guys. And if you've seen the last video here was a ghost, but it made uh, that follows you, but it made the level too hard, so I removed it. Um, whoops. Let's see if we can survive this and not get stressed and make. Oh, sorry for the shout, guys. I was scared by my own ghost, but he he works at least. That's good. Okay, and now we have more than a hundred dollars. So let's buy uh, some more sanity, and this maybe. It might be in need of some kind of balancing. Uh, I will think about it. Um, and uh, here is the last level that is, as you can see, not in a very finished state. There's still lots of work to be done on this cursed theater where Dance Macabre, Macabre is playing. And uh, here are some ghosts on the stage. And uh, this is a quite buggy level at the moment because there's lots of places you can fall through <laughs> uh, the platforms here uh, and and this is the ladder that I spoke of before if I climb this ladder the hat will be stuck there so let's ah uh, you will probably see this happen now uh, <laughs> uh, sucking at my own game yeah okay let's see 15 seconds left uh, and their bug helped me because I actually missed that platform. But oh, let's see, seven seconds, five, four. Oh, we're not gonna make it. You're gonna see the game over screen, and there it is. Ah, uh, well, you can't succeed at everything, I guess. Okay, uh, I think this will be it for this devlog. Uh, if you have been watching this far, thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to see more about this game, uh, be sure to uh, subscribe, of course. And if you have any questions about this game or any suggestions of, on something you see, please comment and uh, put them in the comment section below the video. And there was the bug about the <laughs> getting to the game over screen. Uh, okay guys, but I will leave you with this. Have a good one and I'll see you soon in another devlog. Goodbye.